Thanks to the supporters of channel member Jacob Barnett. Well, folks, I always said if I got to the point where I felt I'd taken Burton as far as I could, I would start looking for jobs. We're 14th in the Premier League. I started looking for jobs. And we have an interview. This this might just be the year non to legend is just yellow teams. Hello and welcome to Club 2, part 46 of non to legend. I'm Kev and it occurs to me Tamworth play in red. Uh, but it's been so long since I was at Tamworth that I... I mean, I just assumed they played in yellow. We've done a few yellow teams over on Twitch. This is definitely my year of yellow. This is how Tamworth are getting on, by the way. They're first in League One. Um, since I left, I mean, I left them in the promotions the first time they got promoted out of League Two. I claimed that promotion. That's the year I left and went to Burton. They got relegated from League One immediately, dropped down to League Two for three years, but came back up again, ended up lower mid table last year in league one but they are now top of league one as we are in mid-november and could well find themselves in the championship next season which is i mean good work good work tamworth they've had some managers since i left as well i mean you have to scroll to find me that's how many managers they've got through in the time i've been at burton current manager kieran clark has been there nearly a year and seems to be doing wonders jordan rhodes has been uh caretaker manager about 20 times at this point he's finally been promoted to assistant manager but uh yeah, he just, I mean, I hired him as a youth coach when I was there and he just seems to forever be the guy who takes over as the, yeah, there you go, hide caretakers, much easier to find me. Although, to be fair, there's still quite a lot of managers. They've not had a guy make it to a year in the job since I left, which considering they're in a higher league than when I left is bonkers, really. Um, but it looks like Kieran Clark might be that first guy. Um, since you were last with me, by the way, form has continued to be a little bit hit and miss for us. Uh, we, uh, we've we lost a few Premier League games. We've struggled a little bit in the Champions League. This is what the Premier League table looks like. So we're 14th after 11 games. Um, we've not played a lot more football since the last episode, but it's not great, is it? We were hoping to be in a title race or at the very least get back into the Champions League this year. We are only seven points behind fifth place, but... I mean, it, it's not looking great. Champions League, on the other hand, um, if we have a look to see how things are going in the Champions League, four games in, we are seventh. So Champions League looking quite positive. Uh, but I think the fact we're doing quite well in the Champions League is definitely costing us domestically. All of which led me to just start having a little look at what other jobs might be out there because the... Um, the board are looking for me to finish top half and we might not. And a decent... I don't, what I don't want to do is things to end on a sour note here at Burton. If I can leave, having just won the Europa League, delivered a couple of other trophies, got them in the Champions League and give them enough time to bring in a new manager, do a January transfer window and get themselves back into the top half of the table, I think that's a positive. I can leave with my head held high, maintain my legend status. So I had a look to see what was available. And one job really, really stuck out on the list that was available. I mean, has there ever been a club that more perfectly suits the way I like to play football manager than Borussia Dortmund? One of the reasons they've decided to offer me an interview is because they feel I'd be an acceptable fit for the club's vision for the future. This is mainly as a result of my deep commitment towards signing first-team players no older than 23. I love to develop wonder kids. Dortmund love to develop wonder kids. It is a marriage made in football manager heaven, clearly. Got to get the job yet, but I am uh, I am now considered a five star reputation manager. Dortmund are a four and a half star club. They are still in the Champions League. You would expect me to be able to get this job. I would expect me to be able to get this job. Um, they're considered rich. They've obviously got an absolutely enormous stadium. I'm um, an eighty thousand capacity stadium. Um, their away kit is the same color as their home kit, which is interesting um domestically things have been going really really well forever consistently the second best or nearly second best club in germany although this year things have taken a turn and they do find themselves 
10th in Bundesliga after 11 games. So similar start to the season to what we've had at Burton. Definitely something I can turn around. They've not had anywhere near as man many managers as Tamworth have had. Um, Eric Ten Hag tried and failed a few years ago. Can I succeed where Eric Ten Hag failed? Goodness me, I would hope so. This guy won four cups in just under two years and still got sacked. Do I want to leave my cushy job at Burton and go into that kind of environment? We'll see, I guess, just to show you what other jobs were available. It's not that I've just cherry-picked Borussia Dortmund as the one interesting one. These are the jobs that are available at the moment. I guess the only other one that might be semi-interesting, Sampdoria, but it's a step down. It's very much a step. They're not even in Europe. So I think as a Champions League club, I have to be looking at clubs in the Champions League and the only club from a big league in the Champions League that have currently got a vacancy is Dortmund, unless Bordeaux are in maybe. It's, ah, they're not likely to be, are they? No. So let's go and have an interview with Dortmund and hopefully not mess up because I quite fancy this one. I think this would be a lot of fun. Welcome, Kevin. We're glad to glad you've come along to discuss our plans for the club's vision should we decide to hire, hire you. Hello, Metab. How are you doing? Very happy to be here. Flown into Germany specially. Nice of you to get the good China out. Very much appreciate that. Can you ease our concerns that you've never previously managed in this country? I mean, I've never even been to this country. However... I am a big fan of sausage, and I hear that's a big thing locally. So, don't like beer, do like sausage, really like sausage. So, hopefully that's going to be enough to convince you. Um, we'll press convince, because we are trying to convince him through the medium of the sausage. Having never managed a club of our stature and reputation... All right, Metab. Uh, are you able to make a convincing case as to why that should be overlooked? I won the Europa League last year. What did you win last year, Metab? Because I won the Europa League. So, you know, I've spent the majority of my career building up considerable experience with smaller clubs. Yes, that's exactly it. Your manager experience lacks variety, in our opinion. Can you tell me why you've only worked for a small selection of teams? Because I've been really successful and don't get fired. Is that, is that an option? I've shown loyalty. There you go. You've been in your current post for a long time. Why have you decided to move now? Because <laughs> we're not doing very well this season. Um, if nothing else, it demonstrates my tremendous loyalty. Really emphasise the loyalty. You're currently underperforming at Burton. All right, Metab. I did win the Europa League last year. Is this a case of you looking to jump before being pushed? He's on to me. <laughs> he is on. Um. Well... Um, how do we, how do we put a positive spin on this one? Um, I don't think we're underperforming. Does that just make me look like a fan? I don't really want to, don't really want to disagree with the guy. Um, the expectations asked of the team were far too unrealistic for me. No, see, we're just, we've had a bad start to the season. Maybe I should have left when my stock was at its highest. Uh, we're slowly but surely turning things around. Managers should be judged by their final league position rather than by fluctuations in form. Yes, that one. Hopefully he'll like that one. Could you come in and get our disappointing season back on track? What did I just say to you, Metab? It's all about motivation. That's what got, that's what will get the job done. Um, no, I think I have the reputation that sufficiently answers that question. I've all worked every single season. I've done better than the season before in the entire save. Would I be comfortable working with Sebastian Kale, our director of football? Has he got a beard? No. Little bit clean shaven for my taste, but. Don't want to don't want to upset him. So yeah, we'll keep him around for now. We understand the importance of having the right backroom team. I don't know who any of them are. I honestly don't care. Yeah, we can. I, I'll just I'll come to Germany on my own, not speaking the language. It'll be fine. Here's the club's current vision for the future, which you'd be expected to work towards if successful in the interview. So let's have a little look. They want you. They want me to develop clubs using the youth system and sign players under the age of twenty three. Music to my ears, that kind of stuff. That is how I like to play football manager. They want me to work within the wage budget, sign players to sell for profit, which I've learned in recent years means I actually have to sell them and make a profit. It's not enough to sign players who could be sold on for a profit. I need to consistently be making money on, on transfers. We need to be turning a transfer profit on a regular basis each year. Grow the club's reputation, which is tough. They're already a pretty high reputation club and spend the original transfer budgets so they want me to come in and spend money oh all right then if you insist they don't want me to hire old men um this season they're just looking for a top half finish which with more than half a season to go it seems easy um 
They want us to be competitive in the Europa, in the Champions League, and work towards developing the best youth system in the world. I am known for my youth development. And then next year, they want us to work towards challenging for the title, and eventually, after three years, challenge for the title slash win the title plus be challenging for the Champions League. I think getting Dortmund within five seasons to the point where we can win the Bundesliga and the Champions League is very realistic, especially if they give me a big pile of money. So I'd like a big pile of money, please. If hired, we'd expect you to guide the team to the top half. That's fine. I can do that. That's <laughs> all my word, Metab. Do I have to go home? Can I just stay here and start now? Would a proposed transfer budget of two hundred and nine million pounds? And you're insisting I spend all that in January? I was going to sign six players from Burton. We're going to have a lovely time. Um, yeah, that that seems that seems fine, Metab. A wage budget of three and a half million. That's so much more than I have at Burton. This is what happens when you're at a club who've got a stadium. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Yeah. Do I have to go home or can I stay? Um, please. Oh, I really want this job. This seems awesome. Um, right. Oh, we've got the media thing. Chapman set to take over at Dortmund. Am I the favourite? Hold the phone. No, I'm not. This guy's the favourite. Who's at third? I mean, come on now. Come on now. Forget him. My word. Few bookmakers consider Chapman as anything but an outsider before news of the interview broke. Cross your fingers, boys and girls. I'll even talk to the press about it. Reports suggest you've attended an interview for the vacant Borussia Dortmund job. Yeah, I want it. Um, how do I be positive? Um... I have to admit to being intrigued. Why is that negative? See, that feels positive. I have to admit being intrigued by the prospect of working there and felt obligated to attend an interview as requested. Well, the Burton, the Burton board are probably not going to be very happy with me, but let's wait and see what Dortmund say, shall we? So there is the confirmation of me confirming my interest in Dortmund. Um, that's Newcastle still chasing O'Donoghue, which they do constantly. And now here is the board being disappointed with me. The Burton board of today released a press statement indicating their disappointment. I hope they don't fire me. At current manager Kevin Chapman's public interest in joining Borussia Dortmund, they added they're disappointed at the turn of events and that Borussia Dortmund would only be obliged would only be obliged to pay a very affordable and reduced compensation fee, meaning they're therefore powerless to prevent me from leaving. Why is that? Have I done some kind of contract shenanigans I wasn't aware of? Um, I mean they've got to pay ten million. That seems like a lot of money. I'm a Burton Albion legend, though. I mean, what are you going to do, board? Sack me? You're not going to sack me. I'm a. I'm the king around here. I'm the king of Staffordshire. I. I dare you to sack me. They, they're not going to sack me. Please, please, Dortmund, come and get me. Another development. Borussia Dortmund fans consider Chapman leading candidate. Am I the favourite yet? I am now the favourite for the job. Surely, surely we're off to Germany. That means I actually have to go to Germany. I've never been to Germany. It'll be fine. Oh, we're on the telly against Shamrock Rovers. I'll be long gone. There'll just be a, a Kev-shaped hole in the office wall. I'm going to Germany. None of you can stop me. Job offer? No. Brilliant. Well, Dortmund are dragging their feet a little bit, so I'm actually having to play Shamrock Rovers. On the telly, uh, Dortmund are away against Atletico Madrid right now with no manager. I could be in Madrid. Instead, I'm in Ireland. It's not quite as exciting, uh, but... Presumably, we're going to do a big fat win here unless the players have all got upset because they know I'm trying to leave. And uh, we'll get back to just checking my inbox constantly when we get the other side of this match. Somehow, still not winning, which is a little bit alarming. Hopefully, we're going to score. We didn't score here. Brilliant. Well, we eventually laboured past Shamrock Rovers with a 2-0 win. We made it look much harder than it needed to be. But after the match, sat in my inbox, we have... An offer from Borussia Dortmund. Now, remember, this does still not guarantee that I'm going. This is non-league to legend. If they offer me less money than I'm on here at Burton, I'm going to have to really, really, really think hard. I'm on £64,000 a week at Burton. I need a better offer than that out of Dortmund or else I'm going to have to really do some mental gymnastics to, to justify going. Cross our fingers, I guess. 
That is a very low wage. Mm. Now, you see, here comes the mental gymnastics. There comes a point in every manager's career where money becomes less important because you already have so much of it. For example, I've already earned £8 million in my career here at Burton. £40,000 a week is still uh, £2 million a year. £2 million a year is obviously enough to live on. It does mean I'm giving up. Hold on. Let me... Uh, let me do some more maths. So 64 grand a week at Burton, three million pounds a year, just over. So I'm giving up about a million pounds a year. This is a three-year contract, and I currently have four years left on my Burton contract. So I'm giving up a million pounds a year plus another year on three million pounds. So I'm effectively giving up a guaranteed six million pounds. But I am getting a guaranteed. So I'm giving up a guaranteed 12 million. That's how much I'm going to get for staying at Burton for the next four years. But they are going to give me 6 million to go, which is still more than enough to live on. And then you have to start thinking long term. Because obviously there is so much more potential for a football club like Dortmund for me to build a career. So yes, this contract is less, but what about the one after? I do, are Burton ever going to be in a position to give me a mega money contract? Certainly next for the four year, not for the next four years. I mean, Man City, their manager's earning 150 grand a week. Uh, Man United, their manager's earning 150 grand a week. Spurs, their manager is earning 100 grand a week. So I'm not earning Premier League mega money. I'm going to a league where there's perhaps less money sloshing around. Bayern Munich are paying 57 grand a week for their manager. So Bayern Munich's manager is earning less than I am at Burton. Would I go to Bayern Munich? Of course I would. Do I go to Burton? It feels like, and of course I would. And I know some of you are going to get very cross down in the comments section because you're going to call me out for realism. I think it is realistic. In game, I'm 49 years old. So my next move in my career is basically setting up the rest of my career. I feel like I'm at a crossroads. Right now, I'm deciding to either stay at Burton forever or go and become an elite level manager who manages elite level clubs. Because if we stay at Burton, we've got it's such a hard decision. If we stay at Burton, we've got at least another year and a half playing at the Pirelli in front of 10,000 people. And even after that, the ground we move into only has a 27,000 capacity. If we compare that to the rest of the Premier League, we're still going to have the fourth smallest ground in the Premier League even after we move. We're never going to be anything but a small club that are overperforming and it could all go wrong at any time. Factor into that as well, the financial projections that basically force us to qualify for the Champions League every year or else we are in trouble. We are in Leeds in the early 2000s style trouble if we miss out on the Champions League and we're currently 14th in the Premier League. It feels like a jump before it potentially all goes wrong moment. There's such strong reasons to stay, but I think there's stronger pull to go. I think I'm going. Let's negotiate. Let's see if we can get a little bit more money out of them because if we can if we can get them to pay me a little bit more, it cushions that blow a little bit more. So if we could get them closer to what I'm on now. Okay, we're up to 43. 51 maybe? Still up to 43. I mean, they're not offering me loads, are they? 47, they're not budging from 43. 45, I mean, seriously, 44 and a half. There we go, 44 and a half. So that's now 
2.3 million pounds a year on a three-year contract at a massive club where by the end of that contract we could come to be winning the Champions League and we probably won't be at Burton. We're going. Are we going? We're going. We're going to Dortmund. I think it's a realistic decision. I'm career-minded. I think it's what I would do. And here we are, boys and girls. I mean, you're telling me that's just the comments section. In a move which is sure to spark plenty of heated debate. This is going to be going on all weekend. I can sense it. Kevin Chapman has left Burton to join Borussia Dortmund. Chapman, who of course most famously lifted the UEFA Europa League with the Brewers in May. Chapman will... I mean, that's a weird sentence. Chapman will face pressure to bring immediate success to Signal Iduna Park. Is that how you say that? Let me know in the comments section. Having stepped up from his previous standing to take sole charge. I wasn't joint manager there before. And he'll need to hit the ground running if he's to win over those who believe his appointment is a questionable decision. I'm a five-star reputation manager. This is a four and a half-star reputation club. No one should be questioning it. Brendan Rodgers was considered favourite for the job. Was he really? Was he? Particularly after he was spotted attending an interview with the club. So I'm now more highly thought of than Brendan Rodgers. Uh, Burton will now be looking for a new manager. I do feel bad. Um, but they were in the fourth division when I went there. I've got them in the Champions League. I've taken them further than I ever could have been expected to. Borussia Dortmund have been disappointing in the Bundesliga so far this season and find themselves in eighth place. So they have moved up since I had my interview. Dortmund have won three of their last five matches in the league and won two, lost one and drawn two of their last five matches overall. Obviously still in the Champions League as well. The media prediction was second place, but the expectation for me this year is just to finish in the top half, um, which they're already in. This is our current team. So a decent mix of... Adiemi as an elder statesman at the club now and what is presumably a lot of younger new gens. So it looks like they are sticking true to their word and signing the young players. There's your confirmation. I only need to finish in the top half of the Bundesliga this year. They want me to sign German players. We'll see about that. Don't Dortmund just sign young English players. That's what I'm coming here to do. And... Uh, Let's confirm all this. No, I don't want a press conference. I don't speak the language. I'll just make a fool of myself. Wow. Everyone's left Burton. Bobby Mims, who's been with me since Tamworth. Am I bringing a 68-year-old Bobby Mims to Germany? I'm probably not. Some of these lot should have just stuck in their jobs, the silly gooses. What are they all doing? I've got no budget to bring them with me. But there is me taking charge of Borussia Dortmund. Obviously, there's going to be lots of... Uh, Lots of fiddling around and decisions to make. Have we got any staff? Not a huge amount. Do I have an assistant manager? Um, no. So we need to get some job adverts out. Financially, things are looking good, though. There is money knocking around the place, money to spend. The projection's looking fine. The squad. We'll obviously have a proper look at this in the next episode. We've got some good players. I mean, this guy. I mean, that's the calibre of player. We haven't... I mean, we had some good players at Burton. That feels like another level up, though. Goodness me. So some good young players. A few good youngsters. Plus a couple of older... Emil Smith throws here. Well, what do you know? Um, but it is, it's a relatively young squad. I don't, it doesn't feel like, I don't really know why it's gone wrong for them. How very odd. I guess we come in and fix it. So Bundesliga, eighth, top half already, job done. Uh, Champions League, 22nd. Kind of want to finish top eight, but just getting through to the knockout rounds is the most important thing. Maybe we'll face Burton later on in the tournament. Oh, boys and girls, this... This is a start of a brand new stage in this adventure, which will begin on Monday. Obviously, we're going to need to do some house hunting. Obviously, I'm going to have to figure out how to spend this money in a month when the transfer window opens. And I need to figure out how to get to Dortmund for a match day vlog. Oh, goodness me, I hope there's direct flights. I do not really faff into it. Does Dortmund have an airport? These are things I perhaps should have checked beforehand. But boys and girls, we finally, finally... Left Burton. I think that's the longest we've ever been at one club in non-league to legend. 
It's been awesome. But the new adventure starts on Monday. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.